David Saranoff is considered one of the cornerstones of the start of television and radio. He was not the inventor of the radio or of the television, but a businessman who realized the full potential of both on a wide scale for mass media and made it possible for the multitudes to tune in. He was one of the first to realize the potential of the radio reaching the masses. At first, his idea of using the radio to transmit mediums such as music was ignored, but soon his vision was realized. In 1926, the Radio Corporation of America, or the RCA, purchased its first radio station and started up the National Broadcasting Company, which Sarnoff later became president of. As the radio broadcasting business grew, Sarnoff saw some early examples of the television and realized their potential in mass communications. He soon began working with an engineer of television, Vladimir Zvorkin, who was determined to make a working electronic-based television set and receiver. After nine years, in a battle with the original inventor of television, they had everything ready to promote and proceed with their plans to set up a television station. In 1939, David Sarnoff was the announcer for the first television show at the New York World Fair, which was put on by NBC. After that, the television industry boomed and America fell in love with moving pictures in the comfort of their own homes. David Sarnoff was not just a businessman, but a visionary who saw the future of mass media and capitalized on it.